Alright folks, hello and welcome back to Downstage Gaming. I am your host Josh, and this is part 17 of our Let's Play of Return of the Obra Dinn. Now, you may have noticed that uh, we are not where we left off last time, and that is because as I was looking through uh, the last episode that I recorded here, the last part, we were in this scene, uh, specifically looking at uh, our friend here, who we found out to be uh, Roderick Anderson, and specifically that he is the steward of this guy, the third mate. Now, it made me realize also, because I was, I was looking at this, we were looking at this picture, and we kind of decided that these people were all likely stewards, right? But then we have our friend here, who I believed was a seaman, and who was the one guy I couldn't quite figure out, right? And what's he doing? He's right over here, whispering to Nichols. Who is Nichols? Nichols is the second mate. Do we have the second mate known yet? The, the sorry, the uh, steward to the second mate. We do not. That is Samuel Galligan. So I believe that is correct. That makes sense. Because initially I just thought that he was whispering here because they're like, plant, they're plotting things together. But this makes much more sense. So, that out of the way. That, that gives us one that I now feel pretty dang confident on. Uh, which is probably going to be helpful. So then, with that out of the way, that little bit of business taken care of here, we can move on. Uh, and let us move on to... Our old circle tattoo friend, I believe, because we've got everyone else in the doom up until him now. We know that he is a seaman. Now, the thing is, is that he has a he has a two arrows, which makes me think that there's something that could tell us who he is. So we know that his well, let's let's bookmark him first, but we're pretty sure that his first memory is a bitter cold part one. Yes. So Given that, uh, and we know that he is a, a topman. I have that correct, right? <laughs> yes, because he was at the top of the ship. Do I, have him, do I have him listed as such? I do want to make sure that I have that accurate. Because I know before I did think that he was a seaman. Yes. No, so this is wrong. You are an unknown topman. Right. Okay. Now... That leaves you with three options. Omid Ghoul, Maba, or Lewis Walker. Now, if I'm remembering correctly looking at my sheet here, Omid Ghoul is the only one... Well... Wait, is that correct? As I'm looking at this? I mean, we believe we know who Whaley is, so, so yes. So... Omen Ghoul is the only one that I have on the list here of people that are in COTS. But I think we've already pretty firmly established that there must be more. Because I have other people who I believe are top men. But still, there's a, I feel like Omen Ghoul is a pretty good guess for him. But let's uh, let's see if there's something else that I can find with him uh, that might tell us more. So, he's in a lot of the Doom up until his point of death. He's, that's most of his business here. He's in part 8 here, when the carpenter was speared by a terrible beast. He's in part 1 of Soldiers of Sea, that's when he's up top. And then he's in part 1 of A Bitter Cold. Okay. So we know what's going on in part 1 of A Bitter Cold. We know what's going on in part 1 of Soldiers of Sea. That's when they're all up top. That's that's what confirms for me that he's a top then. Um... Right, because there's no way a seaman would be up there. I, I think I think he has to be a top one because of that. Uh, now this bit, let's let's take a look at this real quick. So this is we're gonna go down all the way to the bottom to the post of the store. All right, let's head there. This is perhaps one of the most haunting people in terms of identity for me to figure out because I, I had thought that he was that Charlie for so long which I should also take a look at that whatever was the scene that made me think that that was the case I'm in the wrong corner no don't ghosts keep shutting the doors on me 
I should try to go back and see whatever that piece of dialogue is about uh, Charlie and see if I can maybe make a better guess about what's going on with that one this time. All right. So we have our guy here. That guy's shooting him. This guy's trying to fight him and is getting his thing torn up. This guy's ready to pop him with a sword. Okay, so this is our Circle Tetsu friend. I don't know if this tells us much though. He's just he's just waiting in the wings to help out and fight this guy. Yeah, I don't I don't think that tells us much of anything. Alright. Fair enough. Let's head out. So I believe next is just the bits with the Doom, right? Yeah. Doom Part 2 is where we're gonna start with him. Yeah, I don't I don't know that this is going to tell us much. Let me real quick. Cause I believe it's the bit in the end that has something about is this the bit with Charlie? Squid, where's my Frenchman? That's what it is. That's what it is. The squid, where's my Frenchman? Squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. Dama, the beast is dead. How did you kill it? We didn't. We left with a storm. Captain came up from the hold, said he chased it off. You should rest. A curse like that does not lift for nothing. Okay, so first, who is the person here? Do we know? We don't know. We know he's one of the... Let me real quick look at something. If he was John Davies, the fourth mate, which would make a good amount of sense. The fourth mate steward is from England. Okay, so that doesn't quite make sense. I was if he was a Frenchman. But our only Frenchman that we know of is is Charles Minor. Bosun's mate, which means he's the bosun. Hello. Hello. Okay. I feel pretty good about saying you're the bosun then. Which, if we're right about our first one and we're right about our second one, that would mean if we can just figure out who the bosun's mate is. Okay. Your mate was torn apart. Beast is dead. How did she get? Yeah. But the only person who's torn apart by the beast, I think, is. Uh, all right, so this this is all the people that survived. Abigail's crushed by falling rigging. This topman was torn apart. At least that's what we think, but it could be someone else. Uh, <laughs> blasted by an explosion, but we already know who he is. We know who they are. I mean, it really feels like this is Charles Minor. Because we know almost everyone else, too, at this point, leading up to this point. It can't be any of the people who leave the ship. That doesn't make any sense. There's nobody in Bargain. And then this is the scene where he talks about it. So the, the only possibility is somebody who we haven't named yet. It can't be any of these people. It could be Circle Tattoo Guy. He's not torn apart. So it can't be this guy. But we've tried Charles Minor torn apart before, and it was, hasn't been right. This person is spiked by a terrible beast. Not torn apart. And then this is the one that we think is right, and then everything else is, 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 is done. How is this person not Charles Minor? And are we, are we just wrong about his fate? But then his fate is also the thing that makes us think that he is, that he is Charles Minor. Well, but if we have those two right, let's, uh, and we assume that he's a top man. I mean, let's try Omud Ghoul. Okay, let's try Maba. Interesting. But then who could possibly be Charles Minor? Huh. 
Huh. Alright, well, three more down, but I'm almost, I'm almost disappointed by this, because this, uh, this leaves some of the harder questions left. I almost wonder if that was a mistake to do what I just did. Alright. Well, what that does do for us, though, is, I believe, gets us everybody in the Doom. So let's unbookmark you. Take a sip of my drink here. Alright. So... Yeah, that brings us up to disappearances, which I was kind of hoping <laughs> we would have, uh, I kind of want to have two known things before I jump into that. So yeah, maybe I should have waited on this, but okay, let's, let's try to figure out their, what I believe their fate is, which, okay. we go back to, I believe it's actually, is it the beginning of this bit? Yes. Let me on over my dead body, bloody Dane. How's that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. I'd forget you killed my brother. That was an accident. It wasn't his fault. It's not the whole thing. Lies. I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. Okay. So that's when people are getting on the boat. I don't think I yeah actually me now that I'm remembering some of this I don't think there's anything that actually tells us where these people go specifically it was just a matter of looking at the bit with the chapter that shows us where what we're near that would make us guess what it is that happens to them. so Actually, we haven't really paid much attention to this. This is interesting. Okay, so we start up here uh, in England. By bitter cold, we've already made it to sort of the southern bit of Europe. Then by the time murder happens, we're like off the coast of Africa, the Canary Islands here. Callings there, unholy catches there. Yeah, it's interesting that we make sort of a loop around at this point. Because the intended destination was down at the Cape here. I mean, I think that there's two possibilities, right? It could be Az Azores, or it could be Canary Island, or it could be Madeira. I think any of those are possible places they could get to from here. I mean, the closest and easiest, I feel like, might actually be Madeira. Alright, so if we go into one of these, let's use Peter as an example. I believe that you are alive. Yeah, so we can say Azores, we can say Canary Islands. We can't say Madeira. Alright. So, then it's either Azores or Canary Islands. Okay. So what I want to try to do then, oh, I, yes, I should have done this differently, huh? Should have done this a little differently. Okay. What we want to try to do is try to get two other people who I'm fairly confident in, which I think we might be able to do here. Like, this is a guy we could probably figure out, although we have to figure out his attacker too. Um, yeah, okay, so let's, let's, let's try to figure out who forward souls disappear during the end of this chat, if I can look here. I mean, let me also make sure that I'm actually right about this, because <laughs> now I'm worried that maybe I'm wrong. Let's go to, let's go to part one of the Doom, and see if we can see who all is on that little ship. We, we probably can't. There's only three people in this scene. Let's let's go there and let's just let's just take a look at what's going on here. So this is at the top of the ship, right there at the edge. Okay. So we've got a little little ways to go here, but let's head up. All right. And then is it you? It is you. Okay. 
me on. Over my dead body, you bloody day. Dang, 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 dang. Okay, where are you in terms of unknown summon, unknown fate? Okay, so he's parted here, nice tie, a little white bit here. Is he one of our people who leaves this? Yes. Yes. How is that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. I believe you are also one of the people. Head down, short hair, little scarf. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, so I think, okay. Actually, we don't, okay. Now, wait a minute. Because we can be pretty confident that this is Wei Li, too. So if I can get one more person here who I feel pretty confident in, in terms of who they are, then we should be able to try some different fates because they should they should have all befell the same fate if i'm if i'm right about what's happened here so let's try to figure out who one of these people are let's let's tr let's try you my friend since you're uh since you're a tour bookmark your memories here what bits are you involved in okay unholy captives part three when he gets crushed by the falling cargo. Okay. Sure, let's start there. That's third deck. Okay. You killed my brother. You killed my brother. Brother. Alright. Let us head down here. Yeah, I feel okay about this plan. As long as we're as long as we're pretty certain of the identities, this plan should work okay. All right. So the person we are looking for, let's remind ourselves, is Fancy Boy, right? That's who we just bookmarked. Yes. So Fancy Scarf, short hair, or neckerchief, short hair. The carpenters. That's the butcher, I believe. Okay, the painter artist guy. This is it. This is you. Okay, so you're not. You're clearly not just your like. He's not one of the workers necessarily. He's got a position that's higher up. Where is his bit here? Next to the surgeon, which is interesting, but we know he's not the surgeon's mate. Hang on. Sorry. One second. <laughs> uh, one, 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 one quick second. Hang on. Might, might have just noticed something, uh, that that guy's hand was on the wheel. Um, I want to go to the glossary. Uh, that's Helmsman, right? Rated seaman in control of the ship's wheel and general moment-to-moment -moment navigation. Okay, let's, uh, <laughs> let's put a pause on what we're doing then, actually. And, uh, let's go back here. I think we can say that this is the Helmsman. I think that that is fair to say. So. What, what is, what is his two memories here, just out of curiosity? Says there. During the murder. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. All right, whatever, whatever. I'm I'm pretty confident from that picture that he must be the helmsman. All right, so let's presume for a second that I'm right. Then what needs to happen next is we're gonna go here, and the three people that I'm fairly confident in. Let's say you are alive and you are in Azores. Let's say you are alive and in Azores. And let's say you are alive and at the Azores. No. Okay. Let's say you are alive and at the Canary Islands. Let's say that you are alive and at the Canary Islands. 
And let's say that Nathan Peters is alive and at the Canary Islands. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. What what else is on the Cause yeah, I mean it's gotta be one of these two. I mean I suppose it's it's possible that anything could have happened, right? It's possible they could have sailed down to Cape Verde here. It's possible they could have gone to somewhere in Africa. But how can I know? It's possible that I'm wrong about one of these people too, though. I don't, I feel pretty confident about these though. All right, let's, let's save it for the moment. Let's come back to uh, let's come back to our friend here and see if we can't find out more about him. So, all right. So let's uh, head further back here. So he is second memory because that was the first one we just saw. His second memory is going to be part five of Soldiers at Sea. Oh, during the the burning of the spider bit. Okay. Let's head out of here. Again, we know that this guy is not just your... He, he's not your seaman or topman. He's got something a bit more going on to him. I'm just not quite sure what it is. Okay, so we're going to head around here. And right to here. love to hear that oh my god all right so this is our nope oh interesting though because he he certainly looks a lot like this guy and this guy is a midshipman the bosun surgeon that's the carpenter this guy wait a minute yes yes okay I I don't know why it is but this angle makes me more confident than ever that uh <laughs> <laughs> that the guy who shoots him is because I, I I also spent some time looking at that episode to try and see if I can like by going back and forth between the two scenes narrow it down a little bit more the scene where what's his name gets shot or the guy we think is uh, the ship steward where where was that that's it's not in chapter four this is uh, I believe chapter five let's see no it must be chapter six okay yep 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 Yep, yep, here we go. Okay. I really think that that is Nathan Peters. That's the guy that shoots him. Which makes me think I might just be wrong about him being a ship steward. Which we have one more steward, don't we? Fourth mate steward. Might be worth looking back at his thing again, but also trying to figure out who that is fourth mate is if we looked at our uh oh no i don't want the i want just the basic picture that i can look at too because we're, we're just about out of higher ups at this point right we got a captain first mate second mate like it's probably this guy right that's the gunner third mate i think it's gotta be this guy right 
That's the bosun. Don't know who that guy is. He's the only other one with a somewhat fancy hat. But the fact that he's way over here. Yeah, I, I think... I feel pretty good about saying that this is probably the fourth mate. Right now. Okay. And then, yeah, we have our two midshipmen here. Charles Erstick, Peter Milroy. Well, no, where, where's the one that we're looking at right now, though? That's him. How many midshipmen do we have left? We have one. Okay, well, that is unfortunate, and it also... Whoopsies. It also makes me think that actually this is not the midshipman. That if there's a third midshipman, that it's probably this guy. And they're all hanging out together, right? That would make quite a bit of sense. So let's put you down as Thomas Lanky for right now. Which brings us then back to our friend here who I'm not quite sure about. Where, where is where is our specific friend that we're looking at here? It's not you. You're the one I just guessed. You're the bosun. Where is my guy? You two are dead. Can't be you. It's definitely not you. I don't believe it's not you either. No. <laughs> where is my buddy? That's the guy I just looked at before, right? Is there some hidden person here? Somebody that I didn't know? It's like if he's in a, if he's in a specific room, hidden away or something, that would certainly tell us quite a bit. Okay, but we don't see anything over here. Again, is this just one of those times that I'm just just missing somebody? I don't think it's gonna be over here, cause yo, uh huh. Okay, where is this on the map? Purser's office. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. You are the purser. Let's see. Dunnan, Duncan McKay. Gotta be. All right. Remove bookmark. Let's try. <laughs> Live on Canary Islands. Okay. So I think... I think at this point then we can say... Pretty definitively. Okay, let's get all the way there to the end of the doom here. Because we have all these people saying alive in the Canary Islands. I have to be right about three of these. I, I just, I, I, I can't imagine a situation in which I'm wrong about two of these four. So, let's try switching it again to alive on... Azores. And then <laughs> I think I think we just gotta try a bunch of different ones. Cause I think they are alive. I really do. Okay, so Azores and Canary Islands. Definitely not right. Are you alive on an Atlantic island? That's just vague enough that that might be right. Alive on Atlantic Island. Alive on Atlantic Island. No. Just to be sure, let's do it on you as well. Oh, this is going to kill me. <laughs> this, this is, this is going to be the one, isn't it? Uh, are you on Africa? 
I mean, I bless the rains down in Africa. It's gonna take me a lot to drag me away from you. Alive. Africa. Alive. Africa. Okay. So, then, <laughs> we've tried Africa, Atlantic Island, Zorius, Canary Islands. Um, sure, let's just, let's just, <laughs> just screw it at this point. At this point, screw it. You're alive on Cape Verde. You're alive on Cape Verde. Every single person is alive on Cape Verde. No. <laughs> You're alive on the East Indies. You're alive on the East Indies. And you know where you are, Wei Lee? Do you want to guess? It's alive on the East Indies. And Finley? Guess what? Alive on the East Indies. All right. <laughs> I mean, because if, if I go through all these, it's not right. Then we at least know that they're not alive, probably. <laughs> Are you in Europe? Have you somehow sailed back to Europe on a raft? Is that possible? Alive in Europe. Alive in Europe, the only place to live, the only place you can truly feel alive is in Europe. Just kidding. I lied. <laughs> the only place you could ever truly be alive is in the Middle East. Because everybody is secretly alive in the Middle East. And they thought I, <clears throat> they thought I wouldn't figure it out. They all said Josh would never figure out that we're alive in the Middle East. And that's because it isn't true. It's because we lied to Josh. We're actually alive in the United Kingdom. There's no way that's it. I'm going to start with West Indies first. And I'll do that last just to firm, fully confirm that this is not correct. And to be clear, there's no other. Yeah, okay. So, West Indies. Hey, you know where you are, Whaley? Alive in the West Indies. I was really hoping. I, I really, in my heart of hearts, I hope that I would hear the little boom. <sighs> West Indies. No. Okay. So, I guess what we're learning here is that these guys aren't alive. I thought for sure. United Kingdom is our last one. There's no way these guys got to the United Kingdom. What could have happened to them then? Why well, I'm, 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 I'm getting lost doing this last time just because I'm so confused. Alive in the United Kingdom. I cannot believe this. Okay, again, so. So they're not alive. That's what we just learned. <laughs> That's what we just painstakingly learned. So now the question is, what happened to them? Huh. I guess what we're going to have to do next time, then, is take a look more so through the events of the Doom and figure out just what it is occurred to these people. I mean, you had those, you had at least those two that were on the, that were on the boat. But again, the fact that, uh, now that I'm thinking about this, the fact that no one else was on that boat besides those two, maybe they're not all sharing the same fate. Maybe, maybe they all have different things happen to them and they're just the ways in which they get got are ways in which the bodies aren't still can't be found on the ship. Especially with the Kraken attack. I suppose that does make some sense. Huh. Alright, well, we got a very clearly defined mission in store for us next time, then. 
we're gonna go through the doom and figure out what actually occurred to these people who disappeared because apparently they're not alive. <laughs> that being said, we did make some good progress. We've, we've uh, identified quite a bit of people. Uh, I mean, how many people do we really have left to identify at this point? Like, it's not many. There's, there's very few people we haven't identified in some way, whether that's right or wrong. So, all right. All right, folks, then, until next time, this has been Downstage Gaming. I have been your host, Josh, and I will catch you all next time.